Today, we have exciting news about a new medicine for hepatitis B. A drug called hydronidone, made by Gyre Therapeutics, has just passed an important clinical trial. This is the final and most crucial stage before a medicine can be approved for use in hospitals and clinics around the world. In this trial, hydronidone met its primary endpoint. That simply means the drug did the main thing researchers hoped it would do. It showed strong results in helping the liver heal and reducing damage caused by chronic hepatitis B. For millions of people, that's a sign of real progress. Chronic hepatitis B can lead to scarring of the liver, known as fibrosis, and in many cases, it worsens over time. Hydronidone is a medicine designed to fight this directly. It's both antifibrotic and anti-inflammatory, which means it works to stop the liver from scarring and may even help reverse some of the damage that's already been done. If you're someone living with both hepatitis B and HIV, this news is even more important. Your liver is already under pressure and a drug like hydronidone could give it the protection it needs so your HIV treatment doesn't cause more harm over time. It's not a cure but it could be a big piece of your long-term health plan. Because the phase three trial went well, Gyre Therapeutics can now apply for approval from health authorities like the US FDA and China's medical regulators. These reviews can take a few months, but successful phase three results like this often speed up the process. Over 250 million people are living with hepatitis B worldwide, especially in countries like Nigeria, China, India, and throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. That's why news like this isn't just medical, it's deeply personal. Hydronidone could bring a safer future to families and communities in every corner of the world. What could this mean for you personally? It could mean less liver scarring, fewer complications like cirrhosis or liver cancer, and a better chance to live well with a chronic condition. For people living with both HIV and Hep B, it's one more step toward more complete balanced care. This isn't the final answer to hepatitis B, but it is real, measurable progress. And that brings hope. Hope that science is moving forward. Hope that treatment is getting better. Hope that healing is possible. If this news gives you even a little hope, please like this video, share it with someone who needs encouragement, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on hepatitis B, HIV, and the latest clinical breakthroughs.